Hey guys, how you doing? Pig Bennis here. We're uh, back here at Gaia's Cradle. We're, uh, we're gonna roll with a um, we're gonna roll with a VRX. Actually, let me uh, let me pull that out of inventory here. Get rid of that F one hundred five. I was uh, just down in hell last week using the F one hundred five. See what I can't dig up. Hit a substantial do room, but that was about it. Not too much going on down there. Uh, so the VRX. 2K with the D-Class strapped on it. We got Ors Max, so I uh, just wanted to revisit Gaia's Cradle after the uh, Listerian Delirium video and uh, see what we can't come up with. I'm not expecting too much. There's a ample gas right off the bat. And um, see, maybe we'll hit a little more ready light. We'll see what happens with that. Hopefully we'll get a little something. Um, but also because Belk, Belkar has been uh, going up in markup it's reaching up near 120% today, I think it is. So it's a nice, it's a nice little bump for an ore like that, especially since uh, it used to be a high volume ore. So I wonder if they uh, didn't change the spawn specs on it. So we'll hit up Gaius for a little bit, and uh, just basically on Cali to do this video. Really, uh, it's been a while since I've seen a hop come from this area be nice to see but I don't know if we'll hit that and also again guys the VRX setup with the the D class isn't really optimal just for video purposes um, usually you roll with like a level 2 which is kind of what I've been doing I've been going for the uh, the rare ores spawns lately uh, it seems to be treating me fairly good especially over on Arcadia uh, our r rares on Arcadia seem to be uh, hitting pretty well or a lot easier I should say so Let's see what we can't get the um, time in hell on our tropia wasn't so bad wasn't too bad another gas ample there a little stutter in the loot system I don't know if you guys could pick that up on video but I thought it was going to be a, a hop there for a slight second, but it appears as though everybody is on rock trivia. So, especially today, there's I think there's more globals on rock trivia today than there is in Calypso, according to uh, Etropia Tracker. I was just reading a blog post from Starfinder, so which is quite interesting indeed, especially since all those CLDs were released and. People gobble them all up, and then they just recently announced that they're going to release 5,000 more. And apparently, maybe I think 3,000 were already sold on auction, and they're going to do they're going to sell 2,000 more um, from a Minarch official, which is kind of strange. I don't know if they've really done that in the past so much, other than uh, event items. So it's a little different. Uh, I guess it gives everybody a fair shot, though. 115 bucks you know it's uh, the, the time that I had my Calypso land deed I sold them um, the time when I had my deeds I uh, it, it was pretty good I think it was worth it but I'm not sure you know what's going on anymore with Cali a lot of people complain about the market loots and everything and uh, fair enough you know a lot of their a lot of their bread and butter has moved off planet so to speak especially for miners there's not really too much here like Calypso to go for um, kind of wondering what happened to Belkar. If they if they moved that off planet or what, and where where would they have moved it really? I guess if they were to do it, it probably would have been a good idea to hit one of the lesser known planets such as Cyrene or uh, Next Island. Not that they're lesser known; they're just not as used as as much as. Uh, Cali or Kitty or Rock Tropia, so we'll see. Uh, and apparently, you know, we're hitting gas right now, which is what we want to be hitting. Uh, I, it would be much better if it was Nixarium or Derulium, but we are on. And the, the hit rate seems to be okay. Can't complain about the hit rate. A lot of people had uh, messaged me over the course of the last week and the week before is, uh, um, 
you know, just wanting to know about, you know, the markup move and, and just the core return on Calypso. So, and that's why I said earlier, you know, it, I don't, I'm not sure whether the CLDs would be worth it right now. I don't know what they're paying out, but uh, they used to pay out two to three ped per CLD. Sometimes, uh, what was it, uh, the event a few months ago, before the long tooth, there was the robot attack. Yeah, it was it? Um, we had a couple payments with four pet a week per per deed, which is pretty good. Better than any uh, any bank today. You get a twenty percent return of interest uh, or return. It's pretty good. Yep. And there certainly isn't a lot of globals going on the, the chat screen right now on Cali here. And it seems to be uh, somewhat of a slow day. Oh, Leviathans were hitting, it looks like. It's a nice light of dust right there, almost a 9k. Not sure the markup of that anymore. It used to, it used to be really good, like 120, 130, and then it completely dropped to like 110, 112. Oh, little piece of candy for you guys. <laughs> An abundant gas. Well, that's nice to see. 59 petter. It's been a while since we globaled on a video. <laughs> so, kind of kind of easy to hit them when you're rolling with the D-Class. But A little message here. It's always nice to see a little, little something like that. Definitely helps the return. The return while ore hunting is, uh, it's been pretty good. I've been sticking with Pyrite. I've been sticking with low-level amps on Rocktropia and Arcadia, um, and I've been trying to sell as much as I can over there. I, I realized that I spent so much uh, using motherships going back and forth. Uh, because most of the time, my schedule doesn't permit me to take the community mothership that costs five ped um, because of the schedules are kind of wonky. And so I would have to rent a VIP. And it costs, you know, anywhere from 30 to 40 ped to VIP from Rock Trophy and Arcadia. Well, I did that, you know, a couple times a week um, for, wow, I don't know, four months. So, if you if you figure that up, it's uh it's quite it's hundreds of pet, hundreds, probably close to a thousand pet. So, it's a ridiculous amount of money for transport. And also, there's just no need for me to uh, to achieve a greatness status on the on the mining hop list anymore on Entropia Tracker. You know, I hit level I hit number eight. I kind of burned myself out doing that grinding hell for the three or four months that I did it. Um, so it's just nice to, just to come out, take it easy a little bit, hit certain spots, and uh, you know, at the end of the day you get a, a rare piece or something, you know, hit a Rugga on Arcadia for two. Well, not two, I've never got two in the same day, but a nice 60 ped stone, it's, uh, it's pretty good. And it's hectic going back and forth, <laughs> trying to um, trying to hit those towers, hit those large hops, what and what when, and how when they pop up. And we got a little loot lag here. Try to walk that off, maybe. Ample gas. So I don't see myself doing that anymore. Um, you know, doing doing the 10k runs that I had been doing in hell. No way. Too much time. It, it, it takes up too much time, so. But what I will be doing is probably hitting PvP 4 on Rocktropy a lot. Um, I could get my average markup pretty substantially high by just, by just hitting Pyrite. Man, and more lag it looks like. See what happens with this one. Maybe we'll hit another little something here. So Pyrite, yeah, and Hemi too. Although I have not hit that in the last couple of weeks, so uh, which is kind of funky because when I was doing those those huge runs, 
in Hell and, and on Rocktropia, I was hitting that per fairly regularly. Come on. Alright. Now, it'll pop up eventually if we do get something. Hopefully. It's my Nurk's way of probably getting a probe and some decay off of me. There we go. What was it? An unknown. Interesting. Okay. We, we may have to go back and look at that, guys. I'm somewhat curious. Because it's at 59 minutes. Someone just hit a, a land D token. Let's take a look at that. Is it hunting? Uh, yeah, hunting. That's cool to see that they're still dropping. The numbers are getting lower and lower, though, so I guess they're starting to run out. It'd be nice to hit one of them. I just like to see it in the loot, see what it looks like. Alright, let's see what this. Let's see if it's ready light, gas. Oh, it's gas, okay. Must be a modest then. It's an average. For a second there, I was thinking maybe it was going to be a ready light. Because it often comes up on the finer unknown. Which is funny a lot of the times, because um, <laughs> most of the times you just know. It's it's super funny, especially when you hover global and it comes up unknown. Well, no, not really, because it says it right in the global message that you hit that particular type of ore or end matter. So, yeah, there's like ample gas. Look at the hit rate on this. This is a pretty good hit rate. I may actually do another run here. I uh, probably won't come back with the D class, though. Um, although D classes have really dropped in markup, 115, 116 percent. I got this at 116 and a half percent. But yesterday, the day before, I saw them going for 115 percent, and that's basically where they should be should be floating at because level eights, which is basically the same amp, um, had been going for that much before the removal of uh, Xerium and Derulium off of Calypso. And then once that happened, they skyrocketed up to like 130 percent for those amps, and then you know they dipped down a little bit. Even level sevens today still go for 124, 127 um, percent, which is just it's out of range. You'll have a hard time making any sort of markup if you use them consistently. Every once in a while, like a video such as I'm, you'll probably you know you, you do okay as long as you don't lose too much on that particular run. But uh, to use them full time, you're really asking for trouble. So as I was saying before, uh, you know, in, in the terms of markup and everything, uh, my average markup between going from Hell and Lemmy's and PvP4, um, uh, amp, another ample gas, uh, is about 100, uh, is 127 and a half percent. And you know, that's including some of the crappier ores that you get in Hell, <clears throat> and of course uh, Listerium and. Um, Alpharex that you get in your Lemmys, in addition to the high markup Derulium, Xerium, and Pyrite. Um, also, and that's a good markup, 127.5% is an excellent markup. It's kind of where you want to be if you're going to average a percent. Um, Arcadia, my average markup on Arcadia is 123.5%. Now, I've changed the way I've mined Arcadia completely from my earlier videos because uh, let's be honest, a lot of things have changed since then and now. Uh, you know, a lot of the ores and end matters have completely, um, completely changed in markup. They've fluctuated so greatly that areas change almost weekly on that planet. So you really have to go for a particular ore and matter. Now, I've managed to keep a good high markup in that uh, by basically going for quill mainly. Uh, a few months ago, I was going for Lytacon and Quill. Lytacon is somewhat, or well, had been somewhat difficult to get, but now the markup has dropped on it so substantially, it's almost not worth going for, uh, unless it's changed again this week, because it seems to be uh, s such a uh, such a change in that markup of that particular ore. You know, going back when I hit my tower. I beat a stone tower, uh, 28,000 ped. It was going for 
132 to 144% in that area. And then it dipped down right after I hit the tower. It had, it had dropped quite a bit. And um, it took me four months to sell all of that. I was trying not to dilute the auction house. No, I've mentioned this before in another video. I've talked to it in great depth in previous videos. It's important that you do that. So initially what I was trying to say is, you know, if I stick with PvP4 on Rocktropia or heck even PvP4 or, uh, yeah, no, PvP and Rocktropia or PvP4 here on Calypso, you can, um, you could probably break 130% average markup, provided that you know where the pyrite spawns and you do hit that fairly consistently. So that's the key. You, you know, it, when you mine these certain areas, it may have an average markup of, you know, 120, 123%. But if you're hitting like Listerium or Zinc or Meganstone or some other garbage or end matter, um, that's going to substantially lower your average for that area. The key is is to try to determine if that ore is spawning and mine it while it's spawning. When you're out mining all the time, it's it's really easy to see the fluctuations and, and basically the wave patterns of, of the spawning of the ores and it matters. In fact, if, if you watch the global chat or, or if you try to keep track of it on the tracker, um, you can definitely see the variations in it. See right now, I thought for sure that Belkar would be on the menu today, however we haven't hit a stone of it and that's really one of the main reasons why I wanted to come out to Guy is because I know that it spawns in here amongst Regulite and Gaz. Now I'm fine hitting Gaz, um, we'll probably have a break even run, however it's it kind of astonishing that I'm not hitting Belkar which should be the more common ore. Uh, I looked at the tracker for Belkar and there has not been any ubers in it in, in quite some time. I think it's been a week or two. And this is an ore, or this is a resource that had been looting frequently. Now maybe my luck would change if I go up to FOMA uh, and, you know, see what I can't do up there because there are, are plenty of domes up on FOMA that contain Belkar. So Maybe I'll have to do that later tonight, just to drop a couple probes up there and, and see what spawns. But um, I'm starting to think that maybe they slowly move that out of Cali and not and not uh, told us. And you know, primarily I think that because even though we're not hitting it, we should hit bits and pieces of it. We should hit like a modest here, even with a D-class amp. We should be hitting either a modest or an average. <clears throat> It shouldn't be this uncommon that all I'm hitting right now is gas. Um, so it raises some questions on you know on what they did with that. So in other news, guys, I think I've rambled enough about <laughs> mining, but you know I, I got to get back to the basics here and give you guys some tips and tricks and stuff. And uh, I mean that's why you guys joined the channel in the first place. <laughs> so. Uh, Halloween gifts. Uh, Rock Trip we gave out the broom, which is really cool. I gotta get my hands on one before they just go insanely skyrocketing in price, you know. And um, and of course here on Calypso, which I flew back for, is the torch, which is kind of cool because when you hold it, it lights up and it actually lights up in the darkness and everything else. So I would uh, much rather prefer a broom, but the torch is pretty neat. I'm just glad I got something, because last Christmas I didn't get anything from anywhere. Like, the, everybody on Calypso got Polar Bear Mask and some other thing. I can't remember what they got, but um, I didn't get anything. And I'm not sure if it was because I was grinding hell for the Hell Freezes Over event, which I'm glad I did, because I got the I won the Stealth Armor through that. But um, I think I still should have gotten something. The broom is very cool seen some people flying it. I think people were selling it for uh, like 130 ped markup. Oh, another piece of candy right there, 61 ped. Well guys, we made a profit this run. Uh, right off the bat, I can tell you right now that we made a profit. And I've got all these claims to dig up. We had an extremely good run this time. And uh, <laughs> I'm glad to see that because it's not every day that we get some sparkles on video. 
Yeah, I, in fact, it's been, I think it's been quite a while since I've done any sparkles on video. I can't remember the last time I did. <clears throat> But the gas is doing good. I'm hoping still it's about 120%. It should be, well, that the stone is dipped down, so that must mean also that the ingot is not as worth it. And we're clo coming close to an end here, guys, and uh, thanks for watching. I think we got another drop or two. Another, another modest. Wow, I, I'm loving the, the claim size. And I'm loving Guy's Cradle lately too, and I'm not sure why I come back here, but, you know, it's uh, kind of like a, a reminiscent of, about it, basically. Um, because before I flew off to Hill and Arcadia, and, you know, these were the areas that I was hitting for such a long time. Um, Gaia's particularly, because, you know, if you score a tower here, I'm not sure if that event still happens, by the way, but if you do score a tower here, I think you win it additional thousand pet. I'm pretty sure he's still running that event on this air land area. Um, I know a couple people that have, have hit it and I've seen other towers happen here. So it may or may not be done. This is the uh, this is the final bomb guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up and uh, throw a comment in the comment section. Alright guys and we'll uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.